This video is going to be different from the other videos that I made so far. I'm probably going to lose some subscribers by saying what I'm about to say, but I'm perfectly fine with that because I think this is the most important video that I'll probably ever post on this channel. Hello there and welcome to this video. My name is Ari Omlun from affiliateare.com. My goal is to help you make more money and help more people with your online business. So if you're interested in that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So I just had this thought provoking experience that really made me go deep and think about what I'm doing with my channel and my business. And I've learned three important lessons that I want to talk to you guys about today. So first, let me tell you about this thought provoking experience that I had. So here's the deal. If you are going to succeed online, you need to jump on the trends, right? And one of the trends, big trends right now is TikTok. A lot of people are using TikTok to grow their online business. And I started a TikTok account a week ago, today actually, from posting this video. And I uh, started uploading a few videos about what I teach on this channel. And by the way, if you have an online business, just get on TikTok right now. I gained over a thousand followers on TikTok in under a week. And I'm gonna post a video on uh, this Thursday about how I did it. But anyways, the first few days of my TikTok account went just fine. I posted like two or three videos, nothing crazy going on. But then on day three, I posted a video that was starting to kind of blow up. So it was a video on affiliate marketing and how you could potentially make a lot of money with affiliate marketing. And then at the end of the video, I gave them a link that they could go to, to a free training if they wanted to learn more. Now, I thought everything was fine. In my head, I was just teaching people about this opportunity, and then offering them a free training for those who wanted to learn more. But that is not how it was received. So the video started getting some views. It was nothing crazy, but it had something like eight, 900 views in the first few hours, which is pretty good for a new account. But then eventually the nasty comments started getting in. So it started with like, I trusted you right until you tried selling me your course. And even though I explained that this was a free course, it was not my course, I was not making any money from this. It still didn't help. And uh, I got comments like, this is bullshit. You're just lying. You're just trying to make money. There was even one who, uh, who said like, I can't believe that you can go so low that you try to scam kids. And there was one who said, I know what you're doing here. You're just trying to show off to kids how much money you have. And I was like, what money? I don't even have a lot of money. But for me, it was just insane because here was a bunch of people who had watched a one minute video of me and they had already made up their mind about who I am and what my intentions are. Of course, I know what my intentions are and was with that video. I was not trying to scam anyone. I was not trying to fool anyone. I was not lying. I was just making, I just wanted to show people this opportunity, right? But after a while I decided to just delete the video because even though I knew my intentions, getting those kinds of comments is really not fun at all. And there was nothing good coming out of this video. So all of this made me really think and I have uh, three lessons that I learned from this experience and I want to share this with you now. And keep in mind, I'm gonna speak as if I'm speaking to you, but I'm primarily speaking to myself here. Lesson one, build trust. In order to succeed online, it gets more and more important that you build trust with your audience. So. 
people get more and more skeptical of buying things online, especially online courses and with good reason. There are fake gurus out there who doesn't care if they put people in financial debt as long as they themselves make money. So what I started doing instead of linking to my website straight from TikTok, I just started sending them to my YouTube channel and say, watch this video if you want to learn more. Because by doing that, I get a chance to show my face more. I get a chance to speak more about affiliate marketing and how it works. And hopefully I'm going to be able to build more trust before I send people to my website. So you need to go out of your way to show people that you are not here just to make money from them, but you genuinely want to help them. This leads us to lesson number two, which is to help people, serve people, and not just try to make money from them. This is the way that you're going to win in the long run, because there are fake gurus being exposed all the time. People who are just looking to make money, they don't care if they're doing it in an ethical way or not. They don't even care if they put people in financial debt and these people may seem like they're winning but they're losing in the long run because if they are being exposed the truth gets revealed and many of them are even being sued so that is not the way to win with an online business and i hope and i do believe that those of you who are watching my videos you don't want to make money by doing this this is not the way to win with an online business. You don't want to make money by promoting these fake gurus products. The way to win with an online business is to help people and serve people. And it's totally fine to make money by helping people, but you'll need to build the trust first. You need to show them that you can help them and then you need to actually help them. And uh, I want to run my business by this rule, I want to under promise, under charge, but over deliver. I want to give more than I take. And this leads us to lesson number three, which is know your affiliate products. You need to know the products that you are promoting. You need to know what they're about. You need to know if they serve your audience and help them solve their problems. So don't promote products that are crap. Don't promote products where they recommend people they spend money that they don't even have or pay on credit. It's just crazy that some people do that. And uh, I would also recommend don't promote products, products that you haven't tried yourself. This ties in with lesson number two, but also lesson number one. If you promote products that your audience buys, but then they see that this is just a bunch of crap. It's not worth the money. And these people are never going to buy through your links again. So this both helps serve your audience by giving them good products, but it also helps you with building trust and making more money in the long run. So again, guys, I'm speaking to myself here. I want to have a successful online business. I want to make a lot of money. And there's nothing inherently wrong about that, but I really want to do it by helping people, by serving people. And I know it's a cliche, but I want to do what I can do to make this world a better place. So the affiliate marketing, make money online niche is full of scammers, but not all of them are scammers. And there's always a chance that no matter what I do, I'm going to be seen as a scammer. In fact, it is probably guaranteed that some people are going to look at me as a scammer. Some are even going to think that I'm making this video just to build fake trust and then sell you some crap products. And that is just how it's going to be. So the question for me right now is whether I should just pull out of this whole affiliate marketing, make money online thing, or if I should stay do what I can to help others be successful with their online business and show them how they can help others using affiliate marketing. 
So it's probably going to be number two, but even though I'll try my best to be one of the good guys, there is always going to be people who look at me as one of the bad guys. And now I'm going to talk about a product that I am an affiliate of. So if you want to learn more about building an online business by helping others, there is a link in the description below. And if you click on that link, it's going to take you to a page where I tell you more about a free training that you can get. And then there is a link where you can access that free training. It's a free training on how to build a real online business and make money using primarily affiliate marketing, but also could be your own products. And if you're just looking to make money online, you don't care if you're doing it in an ethical way or not, then I really don't want you to click that link. But if you're looking to build an online business that serves other and makes you money, then I would recommend that you go down into the, the description below and click that link. And I believe that that is going to be most of you guys. So again, it's a free training. It's not a training that I've made, but it's a training by a guy named Dave Sharp. So I'm going to be transparent here. Even though it is a free training, that link is an affiliate link. So this company has a bunch of products. They have eBooks, they have other courses, they have some one-on-one -on -one coaching. And if you buy any of those products after going through my link, then I will earn a commission on that. But if you just want the free training, that is perfectly fine. It's not gonna cost you anything. There's no hidden costs. And uh, you're gonna get a ton of value and you will learn a lot about running an online business. So that is gonna be it for this video, as I said, I think this is my most important video on this channel. I really hope that you agree with me on these lessons. And if you don't agree with me, then I mean, you're free to stay on this channel, but I hope that you will change your mind. Now, if you got some value from this video, I really appreciate a thumbs up. If you have any comments about this, please let me know in the comment section below if you agree with me or not. And that is gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.